What's up everybody? Today we're gonna to be talking about the return of the groom, the next part of the ancient Jewish wedding model. Hello everybody, it's Eric from Chimden and Burning and today we're talking about the return of the groom. And we know our groom to come is Jesus Christ and we're waiting on his return. This is the next part of the ancient Jewish wedding to be fulfilled. Last episode, we talked about the consecrated bride where we're currently at, where us as the church, we are to be setting ourselves apart for Christ, awaiting his return at any time and dedicating our lives to him. Now we're at the return of the groom, and this is where we're waiting for Jesus Christ to return and fulfill this next part of the process. And this is where, when the place was prepared for them to live in, the groom and the bride, the groom would usually come at night and return for his bride at an unknown time. The father would decide when everything was ready, so the son didn't know. And this is how it was in the ancient Jewish wedding. If the bride would have asked the groom, when will you return for me? He would have had to say, I don't know, only my father knows. Because the father decided when the room was prepared at a standard for them to live in. Because it was his home, the father's home. And he said when the room was ready. So the son literally couldn't tell his bride when. He had to wait and depend on his father to say it was time. So the father chose. Now there'd usually be a procession at night, an unexpected time with torches, where his groomsmen would go ahead of him to help him get his bride. There would be a shout made and a shofar trumpet blown. But the whole thing is the bride never knew when the groom was coming. So we do not know when Jesus Christ will return, the hour that he'll return. Now the bride knew that the groom was coming, usually in a year or so. She knew it was going to be a, a certain amount of time, but she didn't know the exact date, time, and everything when he would come. And that's how it is with us. But his entrance would be made known with this shout and this blast of the trumpet. And Jesus kind of talks about this. We learn about this when Paul talks about this, about Jesus Christ in the New Testament. Then the groom would take his bride to the place where he prepared for her in his father's house. And that's the next part of the process, the rapture of the church. When Jesus Christ returns, the return of the groom, he'll come and he'll take us to his father's house that he's been preparing for us. 1 Thessalonians 4 verses 16 and 17 say, for the Lord himself will descend from heaven with the cry of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the sound of the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will always be with the Lord. This talks about the return of the groom, Jesus Christ returning for us to take us to where his father is, his father's home. And that's the next part of the process. After that comes the hoopah, the bridal chamber. We'll talk about that in the next episode. But thanks again for watching. Until next time, my name is Eric, and keep your lamps trimmed and burning. Almost over. Almost over. Almost.